Alright, so, to start the video off, to all the Andy Murray fans, before you uh, destroy me in the comments, I just gotta say that I am a big fan of Andy Murray. I'm a fan of all these guys that play the sport that I truly love and I get to play on a regular basis. I played this morning, I played yesterday, and I'll be back on the court tomorrow. I'm a fan of the guy, but hear me out. Um, it just seems that ever since he's come back post-hip surgery, and um, since the pandemic has started, which was right around the time I believe he got the surgery, um, he just hasn't been the same. So that's why you got the title you got, and I think I can go ahead and maybe finish the video off right there. See you guys soon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to keep going, but uh, I don't know, man. I, I feel really bad for him, and I feel really bad for the Andy Murray fans. I had a Nadal slash Federer fan. I don't know how everyone says that word that combines their two names together, but I had a fan of those two guys that is anti-Djokovic comment on one of my videos recently. And, uh, yeah, don't, don't take what I say too seriously. Some guys are just way too, like... I don't know, get too emotionally attached. If Novak loses a match, it doesn't affect me, and as he continues to make more history, win more titles, make more money, more millions of dollars, it doesn't affect me also. So all of this is just our opinions and, and for fun, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I make these videos just to spark up conversations and whatnot, and, and this one, we are going to dive into it a little bit deeper, and that my perspective on Andy Murray's game is that this is only exposing why he, why there never was a top four, and I mean, you know, he is where he is right now. So let's break that down just a little bit more. Um, I've never really been a big fan of his game. I've been a big fan of him and what he's been able to do. Um, everyone's got their own game, and that's just how this sport is played. As I'm teaching my clients right now, as a tennis coach, I have to explain to all of them. Everyone's going to play it a little bit differently. We all play the same game, but it's played just slightly different. And that slightness is is where magic happens. That's what makes us all unique. And um, I've just never been a fan of him trying to play so passively. Um, everyone's going to have their margin for risk taking. And, um, you know, people have compared his game to Novak Djokovic's game and, and tried saying he's a great has a great backhand or a better returner than Novak some some of the most outlandish things if you ask me I mean he has a great back end and then they'll talk about you know whoever else comes up that has a good back end Zverev they compared Zverev's back end to Djokovic um, it's tough to claim who has the best of anything just like it's tough to claim it's it's even tougher to claim who's gonna go down as the greatest of all time of course that's a whole separate category but uh, any Murray's game in my opinion broken down he likes to stay all the way back he likes to break your game down, wait for opportunities until the absolute last moment where it's almost as if he has to finish the point. And um, he loves to run. I just I don't I don't like that game. I don't like that game post hip surgery where you know he he's he's definitely not getting younger. And so he he's still playing the same game as he was before he got the hip surgery, which just surprises me a little bit because you would think that he would want to shorten the points and maybe try to not have to be on the court for so long. Um, so that's my take on his game, and if you just look at his matches in my perspective, again, he's playing the exact same game. He stands a few feet behind the baseline, and he's playing more defense than offense. That's just my simple mindset of how Andy Murray plays tennis. And if I ever got to meet him, of course, I, you know, I would say the exact same thing. I don't want it to come off as if, I'm trash talking his game or anything, but he his inability to take charge in the point is why he's losing some of these matches that he's losing. He just lost to I believe his name is Hurtcatch or something like that in the uh, hardcore tournament, and um, it begs the question for me as I bring up these random debates here with my YouTube channel: Can he win another Grand Slam? I made a video talking about Ro Roger Rafa. Um, Roger and Rafa specifically I mentioned in that one video a couple videos back um, can they win another Grand Slam and now here we are with Andy Murray who I would put even further at the top of really emphasizing that question because I just don't know in my perspective there's no way Andy Murray's winning another Grand Slam I mean even if the cards played right for him uh, he, he would have to really show me something here in these next couple months that would lead me to believe it I believe he's 
still the great, like he said, he's still, you know, the Sissy Pass match, he, he believes he's still intact and strong enough mentally and physically to still be the top player that he once was, and um, I certainly don't doubt it, he has all the potential in the world, I believe that most of the guys in the top 100 have that potential, but him playing the same old game that he had before, I just, I don't understand why he wants to do it, and why and why he's doing it, and I, just me personally, having seen how he's been playing since he's come back, I don't think it's possible. Just like, a, you know, uh, my, my final conclusion on the other two guys, Roger and Rafa, everyone wants to talk about them a little bit more so even now, um, especially Roger, uh, for the people who aren't just these Nadal slash Federer fans. Everyone's, you know, going to talk about Federer um, as to whether he can actually come back and do anything substantial. I think that Roger will have a better chance than Murray. I think it's going to be tough for either one of them. I think Rafa will still, I mean, I will never put my money against Rafa on clay. So I think he for sure wins or gets to a semifinal at least in one Masters 1000 tournament. But of course, we'll have to see how he looks when he comes back. If he looks like he's strong when he comes back, like how he did at the, you know, last year towards the end, then I'll really vouch for him. As of late, he hasn't looked too good either. And in that previous video that I mentioned, and that's the conclusion I'll still have right now, um, going forward is Rafa probably won't win another Grand Slam. Roger probably won't win another Grand Slam. And Andy Murray definitely won't win another Grand Slam. And of course, this is just one man's debate or one man's opinion. Feel free to debate it in the comments. But don't take it all that to heart. Um, the, the comment that I'm referring to, which I'm just jokingly even talking about, I don't really acknowledge hate or anything like that this is a for fun youtube channel that i have but he mentioned that um you know novak kind of deserved it and how did the, how did us novak fans think that uh roger fans felt when roger lost those matches being two match points up against novak and i mean yeah f to some extent i certainly understand that although roger Roger has had a lot of missed opportunities. Novak, I would say it's, it was the same. Like, if up people would understand um, that Novak didn't show up in this U.S. Open final against Medvedev is, is the perspective I have. He didn't, he wasn't playing his best tennis, hasn't played his best tennis in a while. So this was just one of those where it's like, you had it, you had the match points, and you, you just didn't show up. Like, Roger on those two match points at Wilmington in 2019, Roger had two match points made two of the silliest decisions, the inside out forehand, which I'll never forget, and then approaching the net against one of the best passers in the game um, on a simple approach shot. So, and I say simple because I can say that subjectively because he hit it so close to the middle of the court, not the fact that the way he hit it, because I get it, they're pros and I'm not. But uh, to finish this video off, which I wanted to make it a little bit longer to really have some debate. So if you watched all the way up to this point in the video, make sure you comment down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, but ultimately we're going to conclude things off by saying that um, my opinion is Andy Murray will have to play much more offensive tennis. I like the way he played against Sissi Paz. It still wasn't his best tennis. It was the best tennis he's played since he's come back, but he's going to have to play that style of tennis and even more to be able to come back and win anything substantial, whether it being a Masters 1000 or a Grand Slam. So that's just my opinion. Next year is going to be an interesting year. That's the debate. That's really what's pushing me to keep continue making these videos for you guys. I'm about to film another one actually on a different topic, so stay tuned. Subscribe if you aren't already. Um, this is an interesting like series of events. I mean, I hate to say it like looking at it that way, but what I mean by that is we're experiencing the end of the 10 years of our great players you know they're getting old but with everything that's happening in the world whether you follow football or anything else as i'm going to continue to dive into other things and hopefully acquire a bigger audience and and gain more things that i can talk about myself and my knowledge base we're still in a pandemic, which just affects everything. I mean, I always say this in my videos. I hope everyone is doing well, but it affects everything. I actually just, um, I just lost my grandfather last night for those that watched this video. And if you make it up to this point, um, the reason why I put it here at the end is for that specific reason. But yeah, man, I hope everyone's staying safe. All this stuff doesn't matter at the end of the day. Live your life and enjoy it. So. Thank you guys for watching the video. I know it kind of turned very quickly, but it's for you guys, for the real watchers. So thanks for watching. See you guys soon.